Hey everybody, I just want to go through a quick setup with a live feed into the vocoder and logic. So what we have is the Evoc 20 and there's a few different versions of this plugin. We have everything from the actual vocoder synth, which is a synth plus the vocoder, but we also have a few of these different ones here. We have the Evoc 20 filter bank and then the track oscillator. And the track oscillator is actually the one we're going to be using right now. Now, what this is, is a vocoder, and it allows us to do a number of different things. What I just want to focus on tonight is getting the live feed into this. And so what we can do over here in the signal is test this out. The synth here, that refers to the actual original signal. So I put this on this retro synth track. Now I could make this anything I wanted. We could come through here and make this the Mellotron or the Studio Strings. Let's put this down on something else like perhaps Alchemy for a moment. Once it loads, we'll be able to hear it. And a nice brass patch. Okay, so anything we put on this instrument track, we'll be able to hear here. And then what I want to do is for the analysis in, we are going to select the side chain of a live input one. So that input one is coming off my microphone. And then the other key over here, because by default it's set to track. So for analysis in, we want to do side chain. Now we could do side chain in for the synthesis or the oscillator. So we could put this on either the microphone input or the instrument, and then you just choose the one you want. But then let's go to analysis here. We should hear my voice. Perfect. And then put this on the vocoding. And if I play the instrument and have vocal input, so it's going to be putting my voice with that synth. Now, this is all great. And we can change a bunch of things like formant stretch, shift, resonance, the overall spectrum here, all of these settings, we, which we could get into a different time. But that changes all of it, but it only right now is set up for a live input. So in addition to this instrument track, we also need to make sure we have a vocal recording so that we can combine these later as well. So let's do a little bit with this song. This is just going to be kind of a harmony part with it. Not exactly a harmony, but more of a texture layer. And we'll go ahead and record this. I love you more than you might see To the moon and back, yes, to infinity I love you most from coast to coast Wrap you up inside my arms and keep you safe from home I love And now, because we recorded that, we have to come in and change the sidechain input to match that track. So that's the switch we make after we do the live recording. Let's listen back one time. And you'll hear we have a little bit of artifacting there. So let's actually change our buffer and see if that actually fixes it. You can see we were hitting the CPU max on that. And we wanna make sure we actually mute that vocal track so we're not hearing it in addition to the vocoder. I love you more than you might see To the moon and back to infinity I love you most from coast to coast Wrap you up inside my arms and keep you safe from harm I love you more Okay, so now we have this vocode layer happening underneath the main vocal. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short look at using a live input into the Logic vocoder and then being able to use it later by recording it into the track as well. Okay, see you next time.